Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Brew House Art Studio. It has been a while, but I'm I'm back for this quick little well I don't want to call it a tutorial. I'm not it's not I'm not really gonna teach much of anything here, but I want to give you all a free gift. One of the biggest things that us Mobu users run into is the lack of tool support, the lack of people who can write Python for Motion Builder. Um, and there's always, if you're like me, every job I've ever had, there's always some sort of resistance on uh, the tool guys to actually write tools for us to be to use a Motion Builder to make us more productive. Uh, so I got in and I started learning a little bit of Python. So if I go and open up my Python editor here, it's over here on this other screen. I wrote myself a little tool that I want to share with all of you and I'm going to make this available. So if you look down in the comments below, uh, I'm going to have a link to uh, the Python script in my Dropbox. Now, what is this Python script I talk about? Well, if I run this tool, I call it the plot tool. What this does is this gives me some buttons that uh, allow me to plot down my character from the control rig to the skeleton and then plot it back to the control rig. But I have not just given it that feature. I've done a double plot. If So if you click that, it will plot down to your skeleton and back to your control rig. And just so you know, it the way it works is if you already happen to be on the skeleton level, you can see I've plotted to the skeleton level of this character. Uh, if I double plot, it will it just plot it up to the control rig and back to the skeleton. And if I plot this again, I'm back onto the control rig. Well, it doesn't stop there. I've actually uh, included a plot all. So if I wanted to plot down to skeleton level uh, on all my takes and when I click this button, in fact, I'm just gonna put it right over here so you can kind of see what's going on here. When I hit plot all, you're gonna see it cycle through all the takes that I have set up. These are just blank takes, there's nothing on them. I just wanted to show that we just plotted through everything. And if I plot all back, it plots all back. And same thing with the double plot. There it went, all the way down and all the way back. Uh, essentially, uh, plotting everything down. So. This is uh, super handy, super useful. Something about this tool as well is if uh, you come out to your layout and you have prevent docking on, uh, you can turn it off or hold down control before selecting the box, hold down control and then click on the box. And wait, is it? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I misspoke, shift. Hold down shift and then click on the box and you can dock this and you can just, I don't know, stick it right there. And uh, now you have all your plot tools right at your fingertips. In fact, uh, one of something really cool is you can include it in a layout. I created a new layout. So uh, you can see that uh, by saving it in my uh, a brand new layout with it down here, I have all my tools right here at my fingertips, um, which you can't see it, but on my other screen, I have my navigator and my pose controls and key controls and asset browser and properties and all the other things that you normally see down here uh, but yeah uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna give this to you all as a free gift this is one of the very first Python scripts I ever wrote I'm sure it is messy so if you get in there and look at the, the code please don't laugh too hard and if you have a better way of writing this code that is better <laughs> please feel free to share it with all of us and, and me. I would love to learn more about Python scripting. I'm not a Python person. It's like, it's like uh, uh, Egyptian hieroglyphics to me. I just, I'm starting to learn it, but, uh, but not just yet. Let me, let me reopen that Python editor. Um, so if you go all the way down to the bottom of the script, uh, right down here, I this is the button, Brewhouse Art Plot Tools. Uh, you know, if you come in here and you change it and make it nicer, feel free to come in here and change that button name and then it can be whatever you want and you can make it your own. You can change colors, you can come up here and figure out the, uh, the numbers to punch in for these buttons to make them different colors if you don't like the colors I picked out. 
feel free to get in there and explore. That being said, uh, I do want to talk about Python scripts and where to keep them and, and how do you uh, make them available to everybody. So, uh, so what you want to do is, let me open up a browser here. Uh, you want to go to your documents and you want to go to the MB folder and you want to go to 2024 config and you want to drop this Python script right under Python startup. So by default, this is where Motion Builder is pointing at all external scripts that you, you want to write. So if you come over to settings, preferences, Python, that, well, <laughs> mine's pointing someplace else, but that is the file path by default where Motion Builder is pointing to. Uh, my recommendation is actually go in and create a folder somewhere. Uh, see, where did I put mine? I put mine right here under... Um, da, 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 da. I know I'm staring straight at it. <laughs> I'm not seeing it. Oh, wrong folder. Hold on. Uh, work. There we go. Uh, so yes, I have some uh, Mobu tools right here. I have a startup folder. And in here I have everything that I want to start up whenever Motion Builder launches, including my plot tool that I created. Um, I also have a secondary rigging, which I will be putting things into here. Uh, and then I will, I, ha I have some plans for this, but uh, anyway. Uh, my recommendation, and if you are working at a studio that's using something like Perforce, then what you can do is you can create a tools folder in Perforce and have a startup, and then you can have everybody uh, who's working with you point uh, their preferences to that folder. And then when Motion Builder launches, it is going to uh, look at what's in that startup folder and it's going to try to run those scripts. So let me cancel that. So what happens is uh, when it runs, it will run that script and it will pop this tool right up here under the Python tools. Now, people who are better Python tool script guys and gals that are better than me, you could probably write something really cool like this Mobu Core one that is all nice and self-contained. Uh, but, you know, <laughs> it's just, this, is, this is the limit of my abilities in Python. So anyway. Uh, it'll, it'll pop up here under Python tools uh, and run automatically. So, uh, yeah, let me know how it works. Uh, let, you know, use it and uh, and uh, yeah, I guess I guess that's all I have. This is a very short one today, but anyways, like I said, look down below, uh, grab that Python tool, pop it in your startup folder, and, and use it and have fun with it. And uh, yeah, and happy animating. I look forward to. Uh, Maybe my next tutorial when I get some spare time. <laughs> Until then, I'll, uh, happy animating. <laughs>